for the subject science 6 grade 6 pupils pati ready sa inyong mga module sa science pati ready sa inyong mga kaugalingon kaya ito makauban karo teacher may hindi na teacher kisha oh na ready mo niya oh nakaplaster mo sa inyong maayong kahintang karon nakataon na mo pero happy na mga ting panyuntuno okay so Ito na ngayon din with no so much ado. Grade 6 pupils sa Palingan sa Japan South District for your subject. Science 6. Here with us this morning. Teacher Mayneen Aceves and Teacher Kija Eleanor Gagas. Good morning everyone. A marvelous day grade 6 pupils. You are now listening to our school on air program. For somewhere, something is waiting to be known through science learning. I am your radio teacher, Isha Elinor Alaba Cagas from Balikasag South District. Oh, it's a good day to learn something new today. Rise and shine, my dear pupils, and together let us discover and uncover new things with science. Also, make sure that you are in a comfortable place and far from noise so that you can hear me loud and clear. At this point, kindly get your module in Science 6, Week 6. Before we start, make sure you have your pen, paper, and notebook with you. This time, hold your module and make sure that the title of the module is benefits of separating mixtures. Before we start, let us recall our previous lesson about ways of separating components of mixture. When you separate things, you have to remember what method best fit to the situation. When mixture is composed of big and fine particles, you can apply sieving. Then, Hand picking when materials are large enough to be picked by hand. Also, use magnet for metal from non-metal mixture. And evaporation for liquids and soluble solids. We can also use filtration for the mixtures of liquid and insoluble materials. And distillation for liquids that are uniformly mixed and decantation used for liquids that do not mix at all. Do you remember now? I am sure you do. Let us now prepare ourselves for our new lesson. Are you ready kids? Breathe in, breathe out. Settle yourselves. If you wish to go to the comfort room or anything, do it now because in a few seconds, our teacher will deliver her lesson for the day. As mentioned earlier, our topic for today is about the benefits of hand picking, sieving, and using magnets. Please get your handouts and lend your ears to our radio teacher. Let us welcome Teacher Maylene P. Aceves from Balingasag South District. So all grade 6 pupils, we are now on the Lesson 1, Module 6. Good day, grade 6 learners! I am your teacher, Maylene Pagaran Aceves from Balingasag South District. Our topic for today is Benefits of Separating Mixture. After going through this module, you should be able to identify the benefits of hand picking, sieving, and using magnet. In lesson one, you will learn about the benefits of separating mixtures. So, are you now ready to find out what are these benefits? Okay! Once again, you are tuning in to School on Air in Science 6. 
At this point, you are now ready and prepared to discover the benefits of separating mixtures. On page 2, Activity 1, Discover and Learn, we will identify the ways and the benefits in separating the following mixtures. These are the examples of components. A basket full of laundry. Flour and baking powder. Sewing kit with buttons and needles. Fruits and vegetables in a basket. Piggy bank with coins. Sand and gravel. And these are the separation methods. For basket full of laundry, hand picking. Its benefit is to avoid discoloration. For flour and baking powder, that is sieving, to refine and become smooth. Sewing kit with buttons and needles, we use magnet to avoid the sharp edges of needles. For fruits and vegetables in a basket, we use hand picking. That is to separate the fruits that can be eaten and need not to be cooked. For piggy bank with coins, to separate for value for easier counting. Sand and gravel that is sieving, to refine the sand before mixing with cement. Do we have the same answers? Congratulations! Do you understand now the benefits of separating mixture? Some of the reasons and benefits why we separate mixtures are the following. Through hand picking, you can easily get and see the things you need. You can simply separate or take out the impurities from the mixture by just using your hand and get your work done. Mixtures with big and fine components can be separated through sieving. This involves using a sieve, a strainer, or a big screen to separate the components of mixtures. At home, when your mother bakes breads and cakes, she uses a sieve with tiny holes to make the flour pure and refined so that it will be smooth and lighter when mixing it with the other ingredients. The use of magnets is a good way to separate metals from non-metals. Big junk shops use big magnets to separate scrap metals from other non-metal components. Recycling scrap metals is a good business by turning it into cash. They also save the environment as the junk owners practice segregation with recyclables separated by time. Many of the substances we use every day were actually once part of a mixture. Someone somewhere separated that substance from the mixture so we could use it. It turns out that many components aren't found in nature in their pure form, but are found as parts of mixtures. Separated substances from mixtures is an important part of our daily activities in order to get the important components that we need. <coughs> There you have it, grade 6 pupils. I know you have understood the benefits of separating mixture. In separating mixtures, you can select a particular item, of object or particle that you really need and get rid of the unwanted particles. In short, you can get what you truly need in separating mixture. But, be safe and always seek guidance from your older siblings or parents. I'm glad that we have this discussion since this is very applicable and easy to do. And now let us evaluate further your understanding in our lesson. 
You can now answer independently the remaining activities found in your mojo and write it on your science notebook. You may also ask your parents or siblings if there are things you don't understand or read more the mojo for clarifications. Mmm, I am now excited to check on your progress. I hope you enjoyed discovering and learning today. Once again, this is teacher Mylene Pagaran Aceves from Baliside South District. Until next time, you scientists, let your brilliant mind shine and never stop learning. For the recap of our lesson, our host teacher Kisha will help you. Give your best on our short piece, kids. Good luck. Until next time. Wow, that was fast. It's really nice to have teacher Mylene on air with us. She explained it well and we learned a lot from her discussion. Did you have fun? Did you discover new things? Yes, learning science is so much fun. Now, let us have a short recap after this. Once again, you are tuning into School on Air in Science 6. For the recap, Teacher Mayim discussed the benefits of separating mixture. When you separate things, you have to remember what method best fits to the situation to get the good result. In separating mixture also, there are benefits you can get. Just like in washing clothes, you have to separate the white clothes with the colored ones to avoid discoloration. In baking, to get the best result, you have to refine and smoothen the flour by using a sieve or strainer. There are many activities at home that you apply, separating to get what you only need. Okay, at this time, I want you to get your pen and notebook. Number it with one up to three. Done? Let's start. Write the letter that corresponds to your answer. For number one, picking. As one of the methods in separating mixtures is limited to, is it A, gas, liquid, heterogeneous mixture? Or is it B, solid, solid, heterogeneous mixture? Letter C, Solid liquid heterogeneous mixture. Or is it letter D? Solid liquid homogeneous mixture. Number two. Which of the following mixtures could not be separated by sieving? Is it A. Chalk and chalk dust? B. Needles and stones? Letter C. Sun and pebbles? Or is it letter D? Sugar and flour? For number three, if Anna wants to get iron fillings out of the sun, what practical applications she will use to separate these two solids? Is it A. Hand picking? Letter B. Filtration? Letter C. Sieving? Or is it letter D? Magnetism? Okay, pupils, let's check your answers. For number one, the answer is letter B. And for number two, again, the answer is letter B. And for number three, the correct answer is letter D. Did you get all the answers correct? Yes, congratulations! It is so easy, right? You can now continue answering the activities in your module and keep on discovering. And so we are done with our fun learning today. I hope you enjoyed listening to our lesson. Shine bright, dear pupils. 
Once again, this is Teacher Keisha Eleanor A. Tagas. And this is Teacher Mylene Pagaran Aceves. Until, Until next time, this is School on Air in Science 6. Shine, Balisa South District. Shine! Good day, everyone. Bye-bye. Shine, Balinas, and shine.